Hendrickson, 23, and I'm from Martinez, California. And I'm Nick Savio, 22, from Martinez, California. First real car was a uh, 2000 Ford Mustang. And it was a little six cylinder, five speed. And I had a good time with that. And, you know, learned a lot, put it into a curb or two. So that was really the platform that I got into drifting on, or just car stuff in general. I just didn't like, I, didn't have, I had a few trucks before I had a car, and I finally got an E46 M3 back in the day. When I was like 19. And I'm like, man, I was going so hard in that car, I thought I'd kill myself, so I stopped. Think about the gold all the time. East side to the west side. I have a 95 240SX S14 Tanky Edition. It's got the SR20 turbo swap motor in it, straight out of Japan. The car is even imported from Japan. I swapped the tunnel by a guy I bought from. It's been a solid car yet, and working on an angle kit. It's in delivery right now. And a few other custom models will start doing the car. So I'm running a 98 BMW E36 M3. Pretty much just naturally aspirated. Uh, you know, a couple bolt-ons here and there. Full adjustable suspension, but uh, car's starting to get it. You know, right around 250 horse, so I think it's a good learning level. And uh, yeah, looking to do some angle on a hydro soon. Should wake the car up and help me get a little more sideways. That's when I really started getting into drifting, like went out to Sonoma, watching people, you know, I saw a couple of the E30s out there just fucking getting it in, and I uh, slowly started building the car, wanted to LS swap it, but, you know, I started realizing that's a, it's a big project, and now I'm just fucking drifting on this platform, you know, trying to get better. Uh, and, uh, well, it got me into drifting. It's probably, you know, I've raised dirt bikes probably like 12 years now since I was probably like 11. I've been riding dirt bikes and got into competitive level about like 16. And then, you know, broke a lot of bones and hurt my body a lot over the years. And had some friends like Nick and stuff getting into the car scene. And I picked up a 240 and like I picked up like second hand dirt biking. Like, oh, I'm addicted now. It's like the only thing that gives me the same adrenaline rush. My real inspiration, I started looking into it, like the top eight in Japan, those guys, their tandems are every corner, they're right there, like, like I don't think anyone in the world goes harder in Japan because they're like the originators of the sport, like, best in the world, hands down. I started hearing about Formula Drift and uh, Ryan Turk, he was out there killing it, he's got the FRS. Yeah, and I think the big video that he dropped was the Drift in the Oregon Trail. It's pretty impactful. And from there, you know, I started looking into it more. Chris Forsberg, Justin Ofa, they all just tight tandems, you know, top three in forming the drifts. So I think those guys really played a big impact. I mean, actually getting into drifting and not just the side show and spinning donuts and shit. Yeah, you should give us a follow. I'm Eddie James, E D D I E. J A M E S 892. Instagrams at the SAB Project. T H E S A B double underscore project. With age get a K. At angle you got tangle. Hashtag slide that shit. Hashtag slide. This dick. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hashtag bending boys over in the 240s. <laughs>